Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, we're picking up pretty much where we left off, still working on ranch number two for more wood. Um, trying to get our airflow a little better. You know, the wood burner is making a ton of CO2, so I'm considering a skimmer. Uh, lots of things going on here. We could use this for ice melting. Turn it into water. There's a lot of interesting options we have right now. I also don't need any of this stuff anymore. So this is a big area I could revamp. Um, I'm also trying to think about how I could use the auto sweepers better. They could supply the farm tiles with phosphorite. The problem is, I think a dupe still needs to do the actual harvesting. I don't think these can do the harvesting. Um, yeah, so I'm not really sure the best ways to do all this stuff. <sighs> I don't know what progress looks like next. Um, all standard and critter eggs. And I really need to prioritize building this new airflow tile. Floor. So what's going on here? Something's wrong. Something's very wrong. Um Yeah, what is what is going on? This should be... Oh, wait, no, there's like no hydrogen in here. Okay, never mind. It's only 100 milligrams. I guess it's just because we don't have very much water in here. But then that's pumping... Okay, so this is where we need um, automation. So I need an Atmo sensor. So many, yeah, gas pressure. So we want to turn off both of them, I guess. Red disable building. Will the Atmo sensor be able to do red above and below? Probably. I hope so. Otherwise, we'll need not gates. Um, I'm gonna have to auto those, otherwise these are unreachable builds. So this way we'll be able to turn off the pumps when the pressure is lower. That way we're not wasting pumping power. Because that's what's happening right now. And that's wasting dupe labor in the process. Speaking of dupe labor, this is just I'm using so much extra power over here. Um, and how much does this lose? 400 joules a cycle. That's not very much at all. That's only one, literally one second. So what is, what is drawing power right now? Um storage bin that no look at how quickly the battery's draining one two it's losing a hundred watts per second or a hundred joules per second oh I guess I'm on fast speed okay no, that's probably about it then. So that smart storage bin, super annoying. That requires a dupe. This is only 400 watts. So that's, yeah, a decent amount of dupe labor every day that that smart storage bin is costing us. Probably not worth it, to be honest, until I get better power options. 
those constant draw buildings are probably not worth it. On the plus side, we've scrubbed a lot of the polluted oxygen out of the air. And our CO2 flow is now very nice. Though, unfortunately, we are probably making too much of it. This makes how much again? 100... Uh, where is it? 170 grams per second. So I now probably need a skimmer. Yeah, that can handle 300 grams per second. So the carbon skimmer then produces polluted water, which we'll need to send back up to the sieve. Plumbing. So that produces polluted water, we send back up. As for where we get the water in the first place, that is the question, isn't it? Um, maybe I do need to keep delivering ice to this thing. And do another low priority. Good bridge. Need one there. So the way to do low priority is to deconstruct this, construct a liquid bridge over it, and then that will be the low priority. There we go. So now I build plumbing, liquid bridge here. And then I connect insulated pipe there. And then that will come down to supply. Okay, so I'm going to re-enable the pump. And I guess enable the bottle emptier. You probably need that right now. Now, the other thing is I want the priority. How do I do it this way? I forget how to prioritize inputs. Um, do I still have that cheat sheet? Yes. So the way to prioritize inputs is, oh God. Um, splitter filler. Uh, the priority comes from the one flowing past the input of a bridge. So then I actually want... Oh god, I've confused myself now. Flowing past the input of a bridge. So this would have the priority. So instead... Oof. Um, I guess I need to copy. Ah, I hit R for rotate it again. Um, I guess I need to do something like this. And then that'll go up. Oof. So I need to delete this pipe for a minute. Yeah. And then we need to copy, you go up. That should do it. And I made a mess. At least it's just water. Thirty six on those. Because that's important. Wow, that wood thing makes a lot of CO2. Jeez. The skimmer should do it, though. So 
melts a crap ton of water. Hmm. I'm curious how much wood it uses. So yeah, this should prioritize the, uh, the skimmer water now, or the sieve. Oh no. No, 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 we're good. I was worried for a second that this would pump down to here, but we're good. All right, let's priority six on these tasks. I do not need this alveovera to be priority six. Take some free stuff, mallow seeds, I don't know what those are. I also would like to get this construction done. We're wasting a lot of power up here. And my food, what's going on with my food? Do I really not have enough pike apples? Wasn't it three per dupe? Or two per dupe. Can't even remember anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I have eighteen running. Um I may need to move this. It's in such a weird spot. Uh temperature relative to yeah, like negative 14 is their happy place. I really hate this. Uh, it's so frustrating that you can't type in a number. And it's like one pixel is so many degrees, it's not even easy to get it exactly where you want it. Uh, that's kind of frustrating. Especially given that most of the time you're not caring about temperatures from 100 to 500. Like, sometimes you are, for sure. But it's just kind of interesting that... State change? What is that? Low energy state change, heat source, heat sink. Huh. Interesting. Well, all that to say... This is definitely too warm over here, and I could insulate the whole box, but that's kind of not as effective. What I'd like to do would be... having automation helping with pike apples. I guess some of these are going to phloxes as well. I don't know how many... How many are going to Phloxes, but we're about to need more dupe labor, I guess. I'll do six more. Oh, that needs power. Plug that in. Yeah, CO2 is starting to be a problem. Definitely need a carbon skimmer. And we can do a carbon skimmer automated with a gas element sensor. Or maybe... Sends a red signal when it's not present. Sends a green signal when it is present. Um... Yeah, maybe I'll just do when I detect CO2 on this tile. Because that's two tiles up, so that means kind of we're, we've filled the bottom layer. If there's not CO2 on that tile, I definitely don't need to run the carbon skimmer. We'll get that done. 
This is now done. So Atmo sensor sends a green signal to run the pumps if above, we'll just say if above 600 grams of pressure. Okay, I don't know why 600 enter didn't work. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now things should start to work as expected. Yeah, the issue is that we're pumping such small packets of hydrogen gas that still required a full 240 joules from the gas pump. So, yeah, it's like I need some sort of Atmo sensor for the hydrogen, you know, that waits until there's a, a high pressure hydrogen to turn on the pump up here. Um, yeah, it's like I need a Atmo pressure and need to do an and automation gate on element. I don't know. Maybe that just needs to be higher. But it, the ambient pressure is 1300 grams. So why is the hydrogen here so... not dead? I guess it doesn't spread back down? I thought it did. Hmm. Like that right there is 112 grams of hydrogen. It gets sucked in eventually. There we go. I don't know. These mechanics are tricky. Definitely would be better if I had a mechanical filter, which I do know exists. Don't worry. Uh, I don't remember <laughs> how it works. But basically there's a way you can set it up so that there's like a, a looping of a certain material such that you don't need to use a filter, which saves you power, obviously. Which is kind of a big deal, because right now power is dupe labor, which I don't love. No filter selected. Um, you're looking for unbreathable carbon dioxide. So the carbon skimmer's running, yay! And it's sending polluted water up. There we go. Cool. be just cycling back to itself? Huh. I think it is. Yeah. Okay. So that should catch up on the carbon skimming front. Which is great because that was starting to get pretty bad with this thing running. But that provides, you know, the work of a dupe. Provides power to all this stuff without me having to worry about it. Yeah, the hydrogen generator, I've screwed this up for sure. I think what we need... is...
Like, ideally, the gas pump is only running when we have a higher pressure in here. So maybe that should be like 1400. I'm not sure what the overpressure is. We'll see when the electrolyzer is running. I forget what the overpressure is. But the higher pressure means it'll grab bigger packets of hydrogen, which is important. We Ideally, it's grabbing full packets, because if it's not grabbing full packets, then it's spending extra joules on pumping. And we're already getting pretty close with all this. What was it? Yeah, 720 because of the stupid gas filter. Yeah. I could also just not turn it on. I could have no filter. And I could wait until the tile underneath it is hydrogen. And then that would almost guarantee... Well, but then it would, like, randomly turn on when it's... Yeah, there's just so many little complications here. Um... Hmm. I don't remember how I did the old build, but it was pretty cool. And this manual generator shouldn't be running anymore, right? Did that drop down to 10% maybe? I'm gonna disable that. But yeah, I'm guessing this single wood burner is just not enough. Is the problem. Wood pile. We have right about 20,000 total. So that's still plenty. Stop delivery, I think, for now. I don't even know what to do next. We need a project. Well, making sure we have enough food is important. So let's do that first. Ooh, that, that was able to deliver and plant the seed. That's fun. So yeah, having more power would mean I could power some auto sweepers, you know, to to send ice to these and grab the oxalite, and that would save dupe labor over time. Like, however you can save dupe labor is good, but the problem is power right now is also dupe labor. So I need ways to power things that aren't costing dupe labor. And what is this? Or what can I get from them? I can get fiber from these. That's how we make clothing. Maybe I should, I should go for that. There's a couple right here that I could grab and wrangle. They must be well fed. They need plume squashes, which these are growing naturally every 36 eef. 36 cycles we harvest how many uh four units or just one unit every 36 that's not clear why am i forgetting where that is is it in this Bloom squash plant. Um, bloom squash. Uh, 
I guess you just get one per nine cycles. Because remember when we looked at the... Was it the Sleet Wheat or the other one? It shows you... Yeah, effects Sleet Wheat Grain 18. Bloom Squash. Yeah. Doesn't tell us. Just 4,000 kcals. Which I assume is one Bloom Squash. All right, well, whatever. Let's wrangle these turds. Um, Cause having some fiber seems like a good idea. So we'll get Bayomets going in there. CO2. CO2 is looking good. Polluted oxygen is mostly gone. That's a good feeling. Dupes are doing okay. I mean, we haven't run out of oxygen. We haven't run out of food. We're almost on cycle 100. The fact that I've survived this long is some amount of uh, <laughs> good news, I guess. I'll take it. I'll take it. Out of power. Yeah, I was worried about that. I need another wood burner. Or maybe another battery. How much does it lose per cycle? 400 joules per cycle, so that's one. That's only one second of this. Technically 1.3 seconds worth, so maybe another battery would be helpful, because then that'll help kind of capture the good versus bad moments. Because there are some moments where this is more than we need. Alright. Oh! They got wrangled. Nice. So, this drop-off should do it. I'm guessing I need a different shearing station, though. Like, I'm guessing you need one to shear anything that's in this one. Which feels a bit silly. It does feel to me like you should be able to, um, you know, just carry it up here to use that shearing station, but, you know. Maybe that is how it works? I just don't know yet. How much do you need? Oh, 30 kilograms of Bamoth patties per cycle? Half of a plume squash per cycle. And we can make phosphorite and clay out of that? Interesting. Interesting. I'll take another snazzy suit. Um, this one can be worn by... Olby, you've been around for a while. Alright, now no one is working on these. No reason for that. Olby, there he comes. But now what are you doing? Covering from a cold. Hmm.
You gonna grab him? There you go. Did he not get to that one? What was the issue here? I don't know if I understand the issue. Alright, there we go. Elderly, crowded, cramped, glum. Oh, all the issues. Um, I need another critter feeder for plume squashes. Carbon skimmer seems to be working properly. Okay, so overpressure is... Looks like around 1500. So if we're only running things at 1400, that's keeping it from... Running too often. Hmm. Yeah, maybe the way to do it is to have a sensor like over here. That only runs the pump up here when hydrogen gets underneath. Because then that would guarantee that you've got full packets of hydrogen up here. And then you'd have two pumps down here for oxygen. That would be on a, on a sensor. Yeah, because I don't think hydrogen should ever move down. So I could have a sensor right there. There's a thought. There's a thought. There's a thought. Let's try that. Let's try that. And then we're only, only pumping full packets of hydrogen, and I don't need the filter. It's a risky thought, but it is a thought. Um... Oh, the problem is I don't have room for it. I guess I could put it over there. Uh, so I need a gas element sensor. It's going to take five ever to get to here. I think I'd rather just move the hydrogen generator over by one. And then I should be able to... And in the process of doing that, I think I'm gonna... Wall up this area. Or at least attempt to. Because it's bothering me. Really don't need this much space. And then put the hydrogen generator. One tile over. It needs its wire. And then I put an Atmo gas element sensor here. I disconnect those. No, I keep that one. And then automation wire. from there to there. Mm, good place for a snack, Meta Mike. Nice work. Oh, and then I'll need another... Uh, where is it? Gas. Ventilation. Need another gas pump here. Probably more airflow tiles. More automation wires. There we go. 
Maybe I'll go above a thousand now. Should be okay. With this new build. So those will pump full packets of oxygen. As long as there's enough pressure to do so. This will wait until hydrogen is underneath the electrolyzer plane, because it emits at this level, which will guarantee that there's hydrogen up here. It'll require a little bit of spin-up time, right? Because, you know, that'll waste, quote-unquote waste, a bunch of hydrogen. But after so many seconds worth, it should be, um, you know, it'll be steady state. It'll be finally using the hydrogen for power. So I do want all of that to get done. So we'll prioritize it. Apparently, an alveovera died? I wonder what happened there. Is that what happened? I'm curious. Uh, you need the food for a... What's it called? Bamoth. B, 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 B. Bamoth. Do that. So then he should at least get his whatever. Yeah, I can't shear him without a stupid shearing station. Damn it. Alright, shearing station. Power. Alright. That done. I am glad that this isn't turning on off every tick. It looks like it requires the same gas to be over it for a couple ticks. That's good. So it's not just constantly turning on off on off on off. Yeah, the warmth is spreading. Uh, should we move our cooling loop over here? Not today's project. Not today's project. You are gas element sensor for hydrogen. Oh, and my ventilation, gas pipe. Shoot. Oh, now I can delete the gas filter. Sweet. And then ventilation, gas pipe. Yeah, basically just that to that. All that we need. Oh, those are... Empty gas pipes? Maybe that's a oh there we go. We are. Okay, it'll do wrong element damage. That's fine. Now we're done. Now we're done. Those are all unreachable builds. Probably until I do ladders there. So yeah, I think this is the new method. And that doesn't have a wire to it. Let's see if this works. So I didn't connect that thing in any way, did I? Yeah, so far I haven't seen a hydrogen tile move down. 
They seem to only move up or sideways. So the reason that matters is that means we shouldn't get a fluke hydrogen moving down onto this and activating it when this has oxygen over, over it. It should be pretty much pure hydrogen all the way down for that to happen. I'm assuming that's how this will work. We shall see. Probably need a couple more days. Why did I think... I thought gas could be up to one kilogram per tile in a gas pipe. This is bothersome. I think this will work. Um, but I think I have to do it this way. I think for gas packets to be able to merge into a bigger packet, they have to converge. Um, so I think I need to delete that one. And then send it up and over. I think I need to do it like this. Let's see if that's accurate. I think that'll work. Yeah, now they're adding together. Okay. Okay, well this seems to be working so far. If all went well, I can lock these. I almost got locked inside, lol. And then as we pump out the oxygen, eventually that'll pull hydrogen down. Yeah, you're seeing it start to happen. Sweet. I, I'm certain that there are things that are about half this size to be a much more effective electrolyzing setup, but this works. I mean, first of all, these eight tiles, ten tiles could be uh, closed off, and then that would be better. Getting closer. Hydrogen's starting to get in that square. There we go. Almost. Are these always getting full 500 gram packets? Not quite. That's also hitting overpressure. All right, that should be running soon. Power. 
Still cramped, huh? That's unfortunate. Um. I guess I gotta remove a flux. Squashes. I do want to auto harvest those. Are there any other plume squash plants around? One down there. to turn green. Now we need some power. Someone someday will come and power that. Oh, and we need to deliver you. Locks. Just you gotta go outside. Oh, that's the problem. There are eggs in here. Um, maybe... We need one that's like just critter eggs, but like super high priority. So that the eggs actually get swept up. Because it's the eggs that are making these guys cramped. There we go. There were two eggs in here. Now they're not cramped. Maybe in five cycles. Ugh. Oh, they're not gonna make an egg. I wanted Bamoth eggs. This one will make a Bamoth egg. It's still wild though. But it'll get there. Uh, now where do I find more plume squash? I'm gonna need to go do an airlock. Vertical airlock through here. And this will be a good spot. I got two plume squashes, another one over there. I can collect another bamoth if I need to. More or less prevent most gas exchange with an airlock. Wrong element damage. Frickin' that's not supposed to be possible. serious? How did that end up getting so much oxygen in it? Really? Huh. That was not expected. I mean, I guess that is what's happening. Uh, it's just the that sensor or the pump is too close. Maybe the pump needs to be a tile higher. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Now I guess I guess it's now time to to do the mechanical filter thing. I don't remember how to do it though. So I can't. Yeah, I'm surprised that got so much wrong element damage going on here. That seemed to work properly. Huh. Maybe I need this to be a little bit lower. Put more oxygen out of the bottom. I'm not sure. There, I think it just... I wonder what tile the gas pump takes from. What tile does a gas pump pump from O and I. Uh, 
Let's see. Draws in gas from the tiles that it occupies. Yeah, but which, which one? Hmm. It doesn't seem to be telling me. Oh, okay, I just learned that a gas pump pumps from these five tiles. So it's like a plus shape based on the bottom left. So it could draw in an oxygen from that tile is the problem. So it really should be like one tile higher up, I think. Um, yeah. That's unfortunate. Well, so far it's been mostly hydrogen. Ugh, see, that's the problem, is when that happens. Yep, and there's oxygen. No! Hmm. Okay, so I need to move it up a tile will mostly fix it. Even then, like, how is oxygen getting up there? It's just not very fast for everything to settle. To settle down. Oof. Okay, let's deconstruct that. I need to unlock this. Well, I'm gonna rebuild this. I'll be back. Okay, I think we finally got there. So I kind of remembered how a mechanical uh, filter works. Basically, it loops a one gram constantly. And if it has more than one gram passing through, it'll carry on. And then the reason that's important is this loop will make it so that only hydrogen could ever be teleported onto this square to be added to whatever's there. So then, whenever hydrogen passes here, as long as it's not one kilograms worth, which it can't be, um, then it'll add on to that, and then that'll pass through here, and all of the excess will pass on to the hydrogen generator. So this should make it, and then here, um, if it's oxygen, it won't be able to teleport onto there, and it'll keep going. And then I added this to make sure things can't backflow into the system. Um, and then that'll just get added onto the oxygen stuff that, that all disappears. Oh, you know, I could have just connected that to here. I just realized what that was. Uh, anyway, so that is the mechanical filter and it should work properly now. I'm hoping we'll see how this all goes uh, once we get to the next day here. We hit cycle 100, which is awesome. And I've kind of just forgotten about the rest of the base while we're working on this. There's so much stuff I could have been doing this whole time, but I've mainly just been focusing on fixing this gas problem. <laughs> um, CO2 is still working fine. We've still got food, though food is going down, I'm noticing. So I did add a few more pike apples. Um, oh, and I set up, that's right, let me uh, careful tile that. Um, I set it up so that I can hook this up now when I want to, to get some of the ethanol flowing. Um, probably should have, hmm. I guess I want that to be a separate loop. So let's copy a liquid shut off here. Oh my God, R is not rotate, R is not rotate, R is not rotate. Um, uh, how to do this? I'll do a separate shut off here. And then a bridge. Liquid bridge. There. And that should go around. Yeah. Um, 
the only consumers down there, so it should automatically route properly. And then I'll do a switch. So I can just manually turn that on and off for now. With a wire. And then a pipe. From there to there, and then we need a bridge. And another pipe. Okay. So now we should be able to kind of bring cool ethanol from this location. And did I ever build the temp shift plates over here? I don't think I did. So we want to temp shift that. Alright, let's see how this thing's working up here. Adam Mike, why did you go in there? I'm not supposed to open this. So, unfortunately, I wasted even more hydrogen in the long run. This is a problem here. What? How did you... Bro! What? How did you come in here? Oh, he went to breathe oxygen. Someone lock this before he does it again. Thank you. Um... And then I guess I need, what, just to mine out a couple tiles up here, so there's somewhere for all that hydrogen to go. Goodness, this game. Alright, yeah, I'll take some extra food, that's actually handy right now. High apples are ceasing to be a great food. Maybe I should move over to sleep wheat, but high apples seem like they're still a bit easier. A little bit easier. Okay, we're almost there. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. So now the ethanol is flowing. Um, it is a little warmer, which is good. That means it's bringing... It's bringing the cold, is what that means. Um, if we look at, like, the liquid pipe here, it is cooling off. It should help cool off this area. I can change a couple of these to radiant pipes, of course. Um, which I should do. Specifically, the ones on the temp shift plates here. Okay, is that working? Yeah, negative 12.2, negative 12.3, negative 12.4. Look at that, it's cooling off real fast. Awesome. Trading a whole degree. And then... The real question is, is it cooling off at all on this end? Um... Where's this warming up to? It is warming up. I probably need some temp shift and radiant. I probably need some radiance here. Yeah. Let's change those into radiance. But coming in versus out is still half a degree colder. Did a good job though. Look at that. We brought these uh, pike apples back to growing, and these will be soon after. Cooling off that whole area. I 
And we're stealing the cold from over here. Shift plate, radiant liquid pipe. Yeah, I think I think pipes and temp shift plates are trading. And we're cooling it off by about a degree. Or what? Let's see. Twenty-three point nine. The stuff in here is twenty-three point four. So we're cooling it off half a degree on the way out here. So that that counts. That adds up. These temp shift plates are negative 18. I should probably build one more. Why not out of ice? Right there. All right, how's this looking? Are we finally getting hydrogen power? It does look like it. Maybe this is finally powering itself. It looks like it might be powering itself. I also just realized I need um, an automation wire on the freaking whatchamacallit. The power generation, which I never did. It'll just continue to run. It'll waste power. So that's a problem. In fact, that might have caused some of the problems we've had so far. Let me high priority all that construction. Let more hydrogen out. And then high threshold... 90... Five, low threshold, ten. Okay, now I can lock this again. And with luck, generator idle, because it hasn't hit the low threshold. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Nice. Automatic power. That feels good. Yeah, so eventually we're going to have extra power. How do I... Hmm... How do I manage the extra power? How do I get rid of that? Because mm. I just want to get rid of excess power, so I need like a transformer. Transformers can be automated, right? Um, yeah, they do have an automation switch. So I need to turn off the transformer. Almost like I need a measure. Maybe I should have had a gas reservoir. It's like I need to measure how much extra hydrogen I have. Because this is kind of just powering itself. Um, how would I do this easily? Or maybe a, another way I could have done it would be to siphon off the excess hydrogen. Because eventually what we're going to be doing is we're going to end up pumping hydrogen through and it's not even going to have space here. Right? Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Not even to mention, what about all my... Whoa, where did this come from? Did we have another snow meltage? I don't know what's going on here. Um... 
I was about to just ask about water. Oh, it might be those ice tiles. Oh, maybe it's ice tiles on top of here. That's probably what it is. Um, yeah, so... We're still getting... Polluted water recycled. We're basically turning CO2... Deleting CO2 by paying sand and turning sand into some polluted dirt. Interesting. But not very much polluted dirt. Compostable. You can't even click on it. Interesting. So then, okay, they are doing the polluted dirt thing. Um, do I still have plenty of sand? Yep, that's still automated, so that part's nice. I wasted, I'm wasting 60 watts on that. How's my temperature here? Negative 16, beautiful. Nice and cool. And yeah, we've still got half a degree of difference there. It will steal heat from this area, which eventually could be a problem. Or it will add heat to this area, I should say. But for now, we're looking good. Let's turn off the switch. And all will come back. This thing's still looking good. Only 12 degrees in there. Oh, we got a lot of meat from the, the last mammoth passing on. Let me do barbecue. That will make people happy. And I would like to not eat. Um. Oh, that's new duplicates. Why does this scroll sideways? That is really weird. Um. How do you apply this to everybody? There we go. Let me click it up here. Okay, so I don't want anyone to eat meat. I just want you to eat... the barbecue. Squash fries would be awesome if I could be making those all the time. Is this still looking good? It sure is. thing is, we're going to start getting um, hydrogen coming out through here. Because this is not going to need to burn all the hydrogen. Hmm. How do I make this work properly? Because if I just put a transformer... We are efficient for once. Yeah, it's like I need to turn on the transformer when we have extra, but how do I know when we have extra? Interesting. I don't actually know an easy answer. Because, like I said, eventually we're going to be um, backed up on hydrogen and it's going to send it out this way. 
Uh, so I know... Could also just make another hydrogen pump up here. Just let the hydrogen come out. Let this do its thing. And then separately power the hydrogen generator. That would go towards the main base. That could be a thing. Yeah, because having extra power here would be super nice. Right now we're just using the wood burner. Which we are starting to run out of wood. I have about 1,500. And... Yeah. I think, I think that might be the easiest play. So the way we're going to do that is have this go up a little higher... We'll do another setup like this, where I gas valve. We'll need to set up a hydrogen, hydrogen loop. So the gas from the pump will come across. That loops with one gram. This carries on to a hydrogen generator. That sends its power to the main line. Over here. And then mine all that. Build a gas pump. There, gas pipe here, automation is going to be, uh, what is that, a gas element sensor, probably here, no, there. And I will also build a signal switch on top of it so I can manually activate. I do wish signal switches defaulted to off, but they do default to on. One gram a second on you. Power. Oh, I'm worried about this network. Potential load is at a thousand. Potential load is 1160, even. Really? Hmm. The incubator's 240. Might need to kill the incubator. What is that? 180, 300, 420, 660, 8. 900, yeah. Yeah, we're just a little too high. All right, let's disable the incubator for now. Oh, whoops, there goes all my hydrogen. Frick. No! My power escaping. Wow, there's a lot up there too. Oh, those are like three kilograms. Oh man, that's a lot of power. I just lost. All right, your hydrogen, you're off. Long commutes, okay. As long as it's not made a mess. All right, I need it in the video here. It's already been way too long. Hopefully I was able to cut some of it out um, from the, the video, but we'll see what happened. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'm Love and Oxygen Not Included. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.